Hey guys, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today I want to show you all the new releases that are available in my shop and decorate a spread in my dashboard or right-handed dashboard layout for the week of November 28th through December 4th. I cannot believe it's already December. That is just crazy. Okay, so I have four new designs in my shop this week. Um, along with two different Christmas quotes. So we have poinsettias. Um, we have the matching kit and then the matching colorful boxes. The reason that I did the yellow and the green and not any red is because these florals are like, there's a lot of red. So I kind of wanted to bring out the um, other colors in the stickers. So that's why we don't have any red boxes that match. Um, and then we have Simply Lovely, which I think is one that I'm going to use today. So um, these are just really pretty florals with some pretty um, evergreen trees in the background. Um, we have the matching boxes and the sticker kits. So yeah, I think I'm going to use that one in my spread today. Um, and I think I'm getting a cold. So if my voice sounds funny, I think I'm getting sick. I don't know what it is, but I don't know. Um, and then we have Winter Roses. I really love this. I may use this in maybe my journal for this current week. Um, so just really pretty um, white or kind of in lavender and burgundy roses with the matching kit and boxes. And then last but not least, one of my absolute favorites. I love these neutral tones. So we have Winter Dreams. Um, I love like the, like I said, the neutral tones just with the kind of almost taupe color with the blues and the greens. So we have our matching boxes and sticker kits. And then for Christmas quotes, I have, these are more like um, Christian Christmas quotes. Um, or faith Christmas quotes. So we have number three, Christmas quotes three, which says, Oh, holy night, Christ is born, peace and joy, joy to the world. Let us adore him, Christ is born. Um, just, Oh, come all ye faithful. Just a lot of really pretty Christian Christmas quotes. And then we have Christmas quotes four. Um, you can see they're just really Christmas, um, Christmas or Christ. Christian type, type stickers. Um, I don't know which one of these I'm going to use. Probably this one for this week. So let's go ahead. I am using my big iPad to film today. So, oh, I'm trying to get myself <laughs> adjusted um, to get you in, in frame properly. And I'm just kind of on the struggle bus so give me just a second to try to get myself situated I thought I had it but I'm not very confident with this right now so hang on one second all right hopefully that's got it I don't know um just forgive me while I kind of try to get used to using this huge iPad Pro it's the 12.9 so I've kind of got to get used to where everything is on screen um so let's see what I want to do first of course, I'm going to go up in the top with some florals as per usual. And I think we're just going to use this one. I am going to white out this black line like I normally do. And then go in the top with this one. Um, so I'm like really excited. So it is um, Thanksgiving weekend. I did not go Black Friday shopping. I worked. <laughs> I worked all weekend. I know. It's, I probably shouldn't. Um, I did restart therapy too, and my therapist told me, like, I really need to figure out how to separate work life from personal life. So, working all weekend, Thanksgiving weekend, is not a way to start, but it's okay. I'm going to give myself grace and try to figure this thing out. Um,. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, so I was working on, of course, I printed stickers for all of like my new, um, new release orders. Thank y'all so much for ordering. And I'm also working on some new goodies, um, to make available in my shop, some new, all kinds of new stuff for 2023 that I want to start doing. 
and make available. So we'll see kind of how that goes as as I try to find a little bit of spare time and and make things happen. Um, but I'm very excited just because of all the new things that I've got in store. And I actually may use these. Um, let's see. Do we want... I think I want joy to the world. Um, so, yeah. I've been working all weekend. I know that I shouldn't, but I do. I work all the time. And creating is like my absolute favorite part of my job. I love creating things, making new things. It's just like the best part of my job. So that's kind of what I did all weekend. So in my mind, it was more like I was playing and not really working, but I did work all weekend. Um, Y'all let me know in the comments, did you do like a ton of Black Friday shopping? Because I did not. I did not. Um, I did order a bunch of stuff online, but I did not go out and brave the stores like back in my younger days that was something that I always did <clears throat> but now I'm like mm -mm. it's too peoply out there and I'm, I'm not doing all that so I used to be like an extreme I'm going to totally switch topics here I used to be like an extreme extrovert okay in my late teens through my 20s up into I guess my 30s um and, and it could have to do with, like, the whole narcissistic marriage and all the emotional trauma and baggage that comes with that. But um, my therapist wanted me to do a personality test for myself and for Kevin, who is my boyfriend. Um, if you didn't know that, you need to do a lot of catching up. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, I did that the other day. And, of course, I am now... A total introvert I'm actually INFJ INFJ yeah I'm pretty sure it's INFJ so I guess that is apparently one of the rarest personality types in the world yay me um, apparently only like 2% of the world's population are INFJs again yay me like I don't know why I always have to be so dang different but that explains a lot um, about kind of how I function. So INFJ with ADD, emotional trauma, baggage, all that fun stuff. So yeah, that's me. Um, so anyways, and Kevin is like a total extrovert. I don't remember his exact um, personality type. But so I'd be struggling, y'all. I'd be struggling. And I don't even remember where I was going with that. I really don't. Oh, peopley. Black Friday being too people -y. Yeah, I just, I try to stick to myself. Like, I love being at home now. Um, especially now that I have my own place. And my home is filled with, like, love and peace. So, Black Friday shopping is just not my thing anymore. It's way too people -y. And I don't know how y'all feel about this, but people are just freaking... Excuse my French, freaking. They're just rude and obnoxious nowadays. Which I guess scripture told us that that was going to happen. It's happening. People are just, they're just awful nowadays. I don't understand. But people are rude. They're rude. They're obnoxious. They're selfish. I just have no desire to be out in public trying to shop and catch a deal. There was nothing that was like that big of a deal that I had to have it. So... But, if you went Black Friday shopping, let me know. Um, you know, because, I mean, it is still fun to go shopping, right? If that's your thing. If you are an extrovert. Um, Kevin, actually, we stayed in all weekend. Which was totally fun by me. I loved it. And he's been off work since Thursday. <clears throat> and so, he's like, was yesterday, He something was up with him. I was like, what is wrong with you? Because he was all depressed and, and just, he did not feel good. And then we finally figured out it's because we didn't go anywhere or do anything this weekend. So he's like going through people withdrawals and I'm just like living my best life over here. Because <laughs> I didn't go anywhere and I didn't see anybody. And then this morning I did not feel good. Um, low grade fever last night. Um, well, actually it started Friday night. 
and I just have not been feeling good. I don't know if this is just like a seasonal booger or what, but, um, so yeah, I was like living my best life in my happy place, not going anywhere. And he's just like, he was all beside himself. <laughs> so I guess when they say opposites attract, they, they mean it like we're the poster children for opposites attract, um, which brings on a whole nother set of issues for Kevin and I, but we're trying to we're trying to figure our life out together as total and complete opposites. Um, it's just very interesting. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you know what your personality type is, but it's the Myers-Briggs test. Um, I went to 16personalities, I think it is, .com and took my test and that's where I learned about the INFJ. Uh, basically, it's I am an introvert who stands for, I mean, you could probably honestly, by my personality type, call me like a social justice warrior, but I'm not. Trust me, I'm not. But I do believe in equality. I believe that everyone should be treated fairly and equally. Um, just all kinds of goodies for my personality type. So, very, very interesting um, to me to get to know or not to get to know myself but to get to understand myself that sounds better to get to understand why I'm so quirky the way that I am and I think I'm rambling again so I do apologize for rambling uh, my voice sounds funny I don't know what this is Lord please please don't let this be COVID round three I don't have time for that I just don't have time for COVID <sighs> anyways um so hopefully you guys had like a fantastic um, Thanksgiving and you enjoyed time with your family. I did not do really anything. My boys <clears throat> were at their dad's and um, I did go to Kevin's mom. So we did, you know, we had a great time hanging out with his family. Um, it was short and sweet, of course, because of my introverted self, but I enjoyed it. So Got some good food and then came home and worked. <laughs> Story of my life. So, anyways, I'm going to add some of this buffalo plaid to this spread just because, I don't know, just because. So, let's see how it's going to look. I really love the buffalo plaid. I really do. Like, it's, it just says Christmas to me. It speaks all things Christmas to me. And so I think I'm going to try to put this little piece up top. I wish my boys, I don't know, I feel very stuffy and yucky. I was supposed to meet with Tacoa. I don't know if y'all know Southern Tea Time, Tacoa. I love her. She's been one of my friends um, that I met on Instagram when I first joined the planner community. And so I've met Tacoa. One time I met her at Michael's down at the beach because she is a Carolina girl. She lives in South Carolina, um, and so she was actually kind of down in my area for Thanksgiving, and I was supposed to meet with her Saturday, but I had a low-grade fever, and I just, I didn't want to expose her and her family if I'd contracted some kind of weird, mysterious booger. <laughs> so I ended up having to cancel that, um, but yeah, I'm kind of glad I did because today I'm feeling just puny and I don't know maybe it's allergies I don't know what it is but if it ends up being like if I get sicker and it ends up being the big c word or that flu word I'll let y'all know um to give y'all the opportunity to have your orders held but for right now I mean I don't really feel like it's much but if I do get much sicker and have to end up going to the doctor or something and get tested. I'll let y'all know. But as of right now, um, I'm just plugging along, doing the best that I can. Orders are still going to be filled per usual. So yeah. Um, but I don't know. Maybe there's just maybe it's just like a seasonal cold type thing going around. I don't know. Who knows? Um, but anyways, so let's see. I think I want to put a little bit of this under these Christmas trees or these trees because I feel like that tree is kind of like sitting up in the air there and I want something underneath it. All right, and so I do want to put another float down at the bottom. 
should I do? Maybe I want to do peace on earth. I don't even remember if I finished the statement that I was just making. Forgive me if I didn't. Got a little bit of brain fog going on, I guess. I think we're going to do some florals over here first before I decide exactly what to do with the quote. So let's white out here. Thank y'all so much to those of y'all who have placed orders. I think I've got like, I've got a ton of orders that I've got to get filled this week. So I will be definitely busy, busy getting your orders filled and out this week, but I do really appreciate it. Um, I don't know when this video is going to make it to YouTube. It's probably going to be Monday evening, um, the 28th, but if you're watching and it is up and it's still Monday, Cyber Monday technically, um, my entire site is 30% off, so run, don't walk, run to my website and snag some stuff for 30% off. Like I said, I don't know. This video should at least be up by Monday, November 28th, but we'll see. Um, but I just, I wanted to jump on the um, Cyber Monday kind of deal bandwagon to get y'all some good deals for Cyber Monday. Let's see, I'm trying to decide which sticker I want to use here. I can't decide. Maybe this one. So let's go ahead and white out some more. I'm just going to white out this whole black line. How about that? Because I do want to put a quote down here. I hope I'm not been too far all over the place with what all I'm talking about. <laughs> I kind of feel like I have been. So if I have been, I'm sorry. But it's, that's, that's kind of how my brain is. Like, there's so many tabs open in my brain that I'm thinking of stuff constantly, all the time. Always thoughts going on in this head of mine. So, if I talk that way, like changing subjects and talking, 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 it's because that's what my brain's doing. So, yay me. <laughs> Anyways, um, just lots and lots of new stuff coming for Pleasantly Planned in 2023. I'm excited for the new year. Very, very excited for the new year. All right. Do I want, I think I want peace on earth, honestly, y'all. Joy to the world, peace on earth. That's what I'm going to do. And so I did try to put lots of um, stickers on my big sticker sheet so that... We have, you'll see that there are a couple multiples, like peace on earth, peace on earth. Um, so I just try, anytime I do stickers, I always try to fill in as much as I can on the sheet. So it just depends on the shape and size of the actual sticker as to how many actually go on the, um, the sheet. So you'll see that there are a couple duplicates on a lot of my sheets, like my bigger sheets. <coughs> um which is good because it that size is not like the small size it's a little bit bigger but it's not humongous if that makes sense all right so now i want to do some boxes up here to label my two lists and i actually think this is the only video that i'm going to get filmed today because Kevin is dying to get out and go do something. He's at home right now at his house. But we're going to go out and get something to eat tonight. Just so he can get his, like, I guess his people fix. <laughs> I guess I got to compromise, right? Let him go get his people fix and get out and be extroverted. And I'll get something, some free food in the process, I guess. So, um, But yeah, this is probably the only video that I'm going to get film today and hopefully I'll have it up for you by Monday the 28th which is tomorrow um hopefully most of y'all have already ordered most of, hopefully most of y'all have already placed your orders with me for your Black Friday and Cyber deals all of those good deals 
All right, so I know this week and to-do, it's kind of the same thing, but I basically use both of these as kind of like running to-do lists or brain dump sections. So I'm okay with whatever they say. Um, and so I have plenty of pink over here. I need some pink over here. So I think I'm going to take a few bullets, like pink bullet points, and maybe, where do I want to put them? Plus take. I'm just going to take a couple and put down here at the bottom. like there and I might actually take a circle I don't know this is gonna be weird I don't like that let's just scratch that actually I like the dot I don't like this I feel like it's too big so let's put that back or put that somewhere I think I'm gonna just use the circle bullet points This is a little bit crooked. I gotta try to fix it. I did order, I forgot to tell you, I did order a new um, cutting machine. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of those. I don't like these. I'm gonna do something different. But I ordered a different brand of cutting machine. I am going to try something different. Cricut is like, I have sick it, sick, sick it. <laughs> six Cricut machines that I use. And Cricut, if you're a Cricut user, you know that Cricut is highly annoying with the way that they do their updates. And it's just their software is only online. It's not downloadable. So it's only available online. It's incredibly slow, very frustrating. So I am going to try a new type of sticker cutting machine. I did try this previously, um, uh-oh, I whited out the wrong line. I've tried this type of sticker, sticker cutting machine previously, and I didn't like it, but I'm going to try it again because I am, I'm just always looking for ways to improve and make things better, so we're going to give it a shot when it gets here and see how I like it. I might end up resizing some of my sticker boxes or sticker sheets and things like that we'll see we'll see don't panic yet um but i'm always trying to figure out ways to improve um so we'll see when it gets here i want one that says next week actually so yeah that's that's something that may be changing changing up a little bit for 2023 i don't know we'll see i'm gonna leave everything open for discussion <laughs> leave all my options open all right so this says next week we're gonna do next week i always like to have a next next week section in my planner and since i needed a pink box over here it just worked out very well to go ahead and do that so um, anyways, let's see. I need some buffalo plaid over here. I think I'm pretty much finished with boxes and quotes, honestly. So we'll get those out of the way. So let's put a little bit more buffalo plaid somewhere. And do I want to put some up top? I need to put some up top. I think I'm just going to put a little bit up here. And I think I'm going to trim it. Let's go ahead and trim it real quick. Trim it here. And then I kind of want to lift this yellow sticker up and put the washi behind it just a little bit. And see how that looks all right that's kind of cute kind of I don't know I really wanted to put some washi up here like to kind of box in this section so let's see how this is gonna look I 
in my mind it looks great but on paper I don't know I feel like I need a little bit more so why don't we do this take this up and honestly I think I might use this at the top I feel like I need more at the top so let's try a little bit more up top I'll just have to kind of lift those stickers up and then I want to cut this if I can and I want to put some like box in these florals because I think that would be cute so let's go here I'm going to go a little bit further over. Is that too much? I think that's too much. I think I'm, I cut it too wide. So let's cut it down just a little bit more. All right, that looks better to me. It's a little bit crooked there. I may have to fix that with my exacto. We'll see. Because y'all know I don't be cutting straight lines. I just can't do it. This is not in me. I don't have it in me. Ah. All right, so let's peel up. Let's finish this spread. Let's get this spread finished. I'm over it and I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm ready to go get something to eat. So... Try to peel this up without ripping my page because I've told y'all before if you get inserts or planner spreads from my shop my paper is not as forgiving as happy planner paper at all by any means not forgiving at all all right so now I feel like I need a little bit more Okay, so a little bit more, and then I'm going to be done. I'm going to call it quits. And of course I ripped my paper. I mean, like, it would not be a plan with me if I didn't rip my page. So, i got to try to line this up. This is always fun. Mm -mm. All right, y'all. Let me fix this off camera. I'm aggravating myself. Okay, I finished off camera. So, I just, I ended up having to use um, some of this Elmer's school glue to glue down this colorful box or these colorful boxes because I told you I ripped my page and so they weren't sticky anymore. So, this stuff is perfect to keep like in your planner supply bag. Um, it's cheap and it's just perfect for those stubborn stickers that won't stick well. So I pulled all these up, like I peeled them up and I put the Buffalo Washi like one solid strip here. And then I decided it looked funny without a floral in the corner. So I went ahead and stuck another floral up there. So I think this spread turned out super cute. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did, you'll give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you follow me on Instagram if you're actually on Instagram. Um, so that is it for this video. Um, I hope y'all have a great week and I'll see you on my next one. Thank y'all so much for watching. Bye guys.